Hello, hello everyone, how it's going? Sorry for the lack of videos lately, I'm a bit more busy right now and I cannot spend that many time preparing videos because I have to train for the tournament. So, um, in this chapter 3 I will try to show you how to finish or will order and then we are going to jump into the next 8, feudal 8. We're gonna see the different units and we will try to balance our economy in the transition to have it like more optimized so the first thing we're gonna do on this video is to change our hotkeys as always on the unit command we're gonna set color point to g and load to f and then let's go to town center go back to our s and then the units okay rt range Archer A, cover cover Archers D, and Skirmisher S. You can change this one if you want, but we are not going to use them yet. Then on a, sta on a stable, Scout S, and no, no more, we don't need them. And Barracks, Militia S, and Spearman D. We are, if you want, as you can see on the screen, you can change the others, but we are not going to use them because they are only available on in castle or, or imperial and then the last thing is on gain command go to barrack sorry go to archie reigns is w go to barrack is q and the mar the stable go to a stable e okay so once we have those hotkeys chains let's jump into the game as always oh, <laughs> this is from the last game we gonna play arabia because it's the, more, the most standard map and a civilization without bonus let's pick Vietnamese for example so yeah as always I will try to explain each build where it's going so yeah we are in, in the game now first thing is we are going to make a house with two bills and then another house with one and set control group number one to the scout and then create the bills, okay? Some pause. That's something we have learned already, so it will be easy to follow. And then we are scouting circles. We have found the ship, let's send the ships to the town center and then instead of doing this because you can do it for sure i want to show you another way to to drop the resources okay when you guys are a bill like for example it's taking wood as you can see we have 157 and the bill has two wood now so we can garrison the wood is going to increase and then we can unload it with the f okay and remember the second depot hotkey will work with all the resources as you can see gold, wood, ship, but not with deers and boars. As you can see, if I try to right click on the ship, I mean on the deep, deer is not working. Because the town center tries to attack it. Let's create the lumber already because we have six food and remember that six is enough. So now one thing, as you can see, we don't have enough food for another build. So instead of uh, one thing we can do is like, as I control, I assigned control two to the bills. I will just right click on the town center to force them to drop the food they have, because as you can see, they have like six, five. So we can uh, guess that they will have 30 food more or less because if they have six or five each and we have six wheels so mm, we can right click in the center then we our food is going to increase and then we will be able to create another wheel so that's what we are going to do and post right click there right click back to the ship and then create a wheel yeah it's going good job let's follow let's continue this Yeah. 
So yeah, we need two more wood. The wood line is the best. Remember to place the lumber really close to the wood line. It's not worth it to leave a space between the lumber and the wood line, okay? It's the same with the mill. I'm going to do the same. Right click to drop the food and then create a bill. It's simple. And then the next step is going for the board. So yeah, we have all the sheep. Like as remember that we have two boards. Let's make loom. I see number three to the girl. Let's let her suit twice. Okay, one, two, and then go back. Okay, if you hit twice, the war shouldn't go back. If you hit once, probably it will. So yeah, remember to do it. Wait there, and then garrison. Then we're not gonna allow the girl there on the ship. And with the next build, as you see, we are 30, 13, 15. So we have to to make a house. And then we need three more berries. As you, as you can see, I'm dropping the food all the time with the bills to be able to keep creating bills. Like, if I, do, if I have to wait until they uh, get like 35, it's gonna take forever and I will have a lot of idle time. So it's just better if I have, like, I'm close to finish the build, let's drop food and create more builds. Okay, uh, and as I said, with the deers and boars, the right click is not working. So. If we want to send one bill straight to the board, what we have to say, uh, what I have to do is right click G and then right click there, okay? You will see like the next bill is going directly to the board. But we have to use G, is our gather point hotkey. Then number three to the girl, okay, they finish. And the next bill, the 18th, has to create a house again. Otherwise, we're gonna get house, and that's something that we don't want to. Let's create another house. DT, remember. Then, control 2, 3, Alt, Garrison. Oh! oh. <laughs> and then, right click on the ship and F to upload the bills, okay? And now we're gonna explain the difference between. As you can see the town center has the uh, if we carry a bill, we have two options. Go back to work or and garrison. Okay? What is the difference? Well the difference is this one. If I have like um, well I will send the scout to fight this scout because I don't want to bother more more. I have a scout the resources that is one I wanted. Okay. Well, let's finish this and I will explain. Okay. We have 20, the next four bills are going to wood. So we're gonna create the second lumber to optimize. Because if we have like eight bills here, it's, it's, they're gonna stack and they're gonna block each other. So it's better to split them on two lumbers. We're gonna advance with 24, 25. It depends if we have enough with 24, we're gonna go for 24, okay? So what is the difference? The difference is I'm gonna use one bill just to split. If this bill is taking wood, or let's say it's taking food and I garrison it. If I click on, on garrison, it will go to the where our gather point is. So right now he will go here. But if I click on go back to work, he will try to go back and take the board. Okay. Okay, now let's pause and explain what how we can display the or how we should be able to understand. Uh, on the way to balance or economy when we click to feel that. First thing is like which strategy we want to choose, we want to do. For example, if we want to do, if we want to make our chest, of course, what we're gonna need, we're gonna need gold. So we should send gold, bills to gold. And if we are going for a scout, probably we, we shouldn't take gold, okay? So for example, in this case, if I want to go scout, 
I will need a wood and food. I, I'm not going to need gold, but okay. So we're gonna split our build. We have, as you can see, 24 minus one because one population is from the scout. So we will have like 23 builds. We're gonna split like 12 on wood and 11 on foot. And what you can ask why too many on wood is because probably now, from now onwards, most of the, our economy, food economy is going to be farms. And to be able to make farms, we need wood. So for now, as we have eight lumberjacks, so we will need at least four more, and we're gonna split them like six and six. So we're gonna have get two here, send them there, and then another two garrison and send them here. Okay, next step is what we need for this. Well, we need the the barrack, right? So we're gonna send one bill and create a barrack. Let's do it. Remember it's DS, D is the hotkey we are use always and S is the hotkey to the barrack. And the other, uh, the second building will be uh, stable. Stable is 175 wood. So as you can see, we have, we are gathering more than that actually. Actually, if you remember the first chapter, I talk about something that is was called timing and it was something not completely accurate but it can be helpful. So that means feudal aid is more than two minutes. That means it's like f four more than four timings. So if we take that in consideration, we could say that we are like two timings away from feudal. So in two timings, this bill will gather like 240. Okay, because each bill will gather like 20 wood. No, sorry. Yeah, yeah. On halfway, yeah. It's two timing, so it's 100. So it's 200. Tw sorry, 20 wood each bill. So if we have 12 and they are all working, we should gather like 20, 240 wood. Okay. So we'll be able to create at least four farms because 240 wood is like four farms. And we're going to do it right now. So we're going to do four farms two three four in case you have any idle bill on the town center send them to the struggle streets okay close to the town center we'll see if we have enough wood still after reaching fuel to create to will the the stable that's the the objective here Okay, so now, as you can see, we, we are gathering a lot of wood still. So the first thing we have to do always when reaching a new age is getting the, the wood upgrade because it's the most important upgrade. How we go to this code key? Oh, look at that bill is blocked. Let's move it this. Well, you can go directly here or I don't know if we said this is control C and then create this table. Create this table is DD. And then we're gonna go to the middle and if we have enough resources, horse collar. Horse collar will affect the, the, the nest farm, okay? It increase the food they have. Okay, if I'm not wrong, they start with 175. So you will see like this one will have more. And now, no, our next step, if we are going to scout, for example, is just uh, keep creating uh, building farms because scouts are so expensive, but they only need wood, uh, food. My bad, food. So we, each time we have 60 wood, we're going to create a farm, okay? We have to pay attention there. Then we're going to go to the stable is the hotkey E, remember, go to stable E and press S to create a scout. ES, ES. But remember that you will always have to focus on the build producing, okay? It's, it's better to create a build than a scout in most of the case. So going for a scout is really easy to balance your economy. 
because you only are using two resources. It's not the same if you are going for archery because you have to create a lumber and you will have to balance three resources, food, wood, and gold. It's true that scouts are easier to counter because spearmen have really good strong bonus against them. But they are, they are strong. So as you can see, I'm creating a scout all the time. Okay. And trying to have my town center working all the time as well. This is one way to balance her with archers, I mean, with the scout. Okay. And something I like to do is like having my gather point always on wood and then balance out of there. Because you don't have to drop the resources. Like, for example, look at this girl. He has three wood. Okay. So if I will have a. Uh, farm you will see that when she finishes the farm it will increase by three my wood okay so this was a small show on how you can do it but we're gonna focus more on on the next chapter on the chapter number five because the chapter number four is a challenge And yeah, I think this is all for this. Mm, I hope it's clear how I do while trying to like the bill order to go to feudal and then um, how we can balance a bit more economy, what resources we should focus on. But I will on the next on the chapter number five I will f I will uh, show you how to balance perfect or almost perfect. With the same start, we will. Uh, I'm gonna show you different, different balance. In depending on your strategy, like if you want to go arches, how many on wood, how many in gold, more or less. And we explain why, why that happens, or how how did you, how would you know, how many builds you you need on on each resources to keep the production. Okay, so yeah. Hope you enjoy and um, I hope it's useful and yeah, see you next time. Bye bye for now.